hello youtube welcome back to my channel so in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to set up your visual environment uh, visual uh, visual studio code environment for development in c java python javascript html and css and uh, finally php okay so let's get started so VS, visual studio code is just a text editor that uh, 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 text editor or ide integrated development environment that is uh, provided by microsoft from microsoft so it has a uh, support for both uh, windows debian uh, linux systems and then the uh, linux distributions and the uh, finally mac os okay so let me just go ahead and actually show you how to get started uh, to to set up your virtual uh, your development environment on vs code first of all you need to have a uh, virtual studio code installed okay so vs code is also called visual uh, visual studio code okay so if you hear me referring to it as visual studio code or vs code i'm just basically meaning the same thing so uh you can first install it for windows um, linux distributions and then mac os as i said so for windows you simply click on this windows 7 8 and 10 simply click on this and then it's, it's, it's download the installer for you and then you can execute the installer to install uh, visual studio code for debian systems uh, or for for uh, linux system i'll teach you a simpler way to install it actually if you're on ubuntu uh, okay and then for mac os again you just click on this and then you can install for the executor and then you can uh, executable file you can execute it and then you install it that way so on if you're on ubuntu right there's an easier way to install so just go to ubuntu uh, software open ubuntu software and then uh, you can just search for it here ubuntu software and then you can find it it's actually uh, this one right here okay so you open that up and then you can simply click on visual studio code and then this will actually uh, you can click on it and then you can install is to install uh, the visual studio code on your machine and then that should be done so you can just wait for it to install there will be an, an option to install it here and then you can install mine is already installed and i don't want to remove it so i'm simply going to click close uh, this for now so uh that's how you can install it if you're on ubuntu in a simpler way okay so let's now go over how to install the g plus plus or the main gw of uh, compiler for c plus plus okay so this compiler is needed for you to run c plus plus code on visual studio code and especially on windows okay so these are the instructions on how to install it i'm going to leave this link in the description just the download link and the instructions to follow how on how to install it is very straightforward and uh, easy to install so i'm going to leave this link in the description so you can find this link in the description and you can follow through on how to uh, set download and set up uh, the g plus plus compiler for for windows okay so uh, if you're on ubuntu uh, the g plus plus compiler comes by default so you don't have to install anything on a mac i'm not really sure about this so you can just go and research if you're on a macbook but for windows you sure need to install it with uh, ubuntu you don't need ubuntu and linux distributions it already has the the g plus plus compiler by default so you don't need to install anything again now let's go ahead and to see how you can set up the jdk for java development again i have this website pulled up here it's just a really great article and instruction on how to install the jdk on windows and mac and also uh, linux okay so it has instructions i'm going to leave this in the description you can just read through it's very straightforward and you can go and actually install the java development kit and then you can be able to ex you need this to, uh, you, need to you need to have this in order to run a uh, java code within your 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 environment okay your environment your visual studio code uh, development environment okay and then if you want to use python right so if you want to use python you need to install again py the python interpreter okay uh, you can just go to py dot py, uh, python.org and again i'm going to leave this link in the description you can just go to the download uh, section and then you can download according to your uh, operating system if you're using a, a linux distribution uh, it comes with python by default so you don't have to actually install the python interpreter so if you're on windows you can just click this and then install it make sure that you you you, you allow uh, you add it to the path there's an option that allows you to add it to path make sure that you allow you add the the uh, the the interpreter to your part if you're on mac os you can just click on this link and again you can install it that way actually very straightforward uh, and easy to do so now i assume that you already have this installed you already have the the, the python interpreter the c plus plus compiler and this uh, jdk installed and also have already downloaded vs code so if you, are, you have done that you can just go to your applications and then you can search for visual studio code so you can just search for it uh, if you're on windows you can just search for your your yeah, you can type it in your search field here if you're on windows okay so just search for uh, vs code okay vs code and then it should just bring it up we can just type out visual studio code and then it will bring that up from there you can be able to install it you can just open it up i mean instead of install you can just open it up so 
you can just open it up i already have mine opened up already so i'm just going to bring it here so you can see i already have it open up so let me just go ahead and actually close close some of these tabs for now uh sorry for the noise just uh, the noisy car passing by so let me just close some of these tabs since i'm recording i don't want my pc to be sluggish so now that we have that you open a visual studio code you have an, an interface very similar to this so on your very left right you have some you have some uh some options right you have some icons here you have explorer you have this uh such uh, icon you have this one for git you have this uh, for debugging and then you have this one for extension so click on extensions and then if you click on extension we'll start by search for c plus plus okay type in c plus plus and then an, a list of options will come on how to install c plus plus so click on the click on the the first extension which is just this one with this uh purple color i believe i don't know what color is that but you can just uh, click on that it has it's coming from microsoft uh, and it's the c plus plus extension for visual studio code in your case you have an op an option to install it so just click on that install option and then uh, have it installed okay now that you have that for c plus plus you can also search for java and then also again click on the first option uh, which is this one they are having the orange color and then you can just click on install again in your case you have inst uh, install option i already installed this prior to making this video so you can keep this video short uh instead of just watching me install things that you can do on your own right so just click on the install button and then you need to have it installed for you just have to click one button it's just very simple and then if you have if you're in python you want to run for python again click on the type in python click on the first option again hit the install button to install that for javascript is very similar so there's one for javascript uh, and typescript so javascript and typescript there is a one for javascript and typescript you can do, you can just click on install and you have that installed for you i already did i installed it so you can save time okay now let's search for html and uh, html css so you can just search again click on the first one and then you have this install button you can click on this install button and this will have the css and html extension for visual studio code installed for you again lastly for php so for php you can just search for php and then uh, press enter click on the first link and then again you have the install op uh, install option click on the install option and have it installed so great now that i assume that you have all that installed right you have a, you have mine to install those, all those extensions or all some of those extensions according to your needs so you can just come up here and then get, we also need to install one more thing uh, this is actually called code uh, runner okay search for code runner and then you click on it so this is the code runner make sure that it has this uh, icon so dot run that's the logo of it so it, it can run c plus plus can run c c plus plus java JavaScript, PHP, Python, and all these other languages, Golang, PowerShell, and all these languages, you can run it, okay? So once you have the uh, the run, uh, dot run, uh, run code runner installed, you have this option called like play button on your on your top uh, top right of your screen uh, of your Visual Studio Code Editor. And this will enable you to run your code without having to go into a terminal or having to do anything fancy. So let's simply create one here of the test.cpp just to test out code runner so i'm just going to create that cpp file there so i'm just going to make a simple uh include io stream and you can see here uh, it comes with all the uh, um uh, auto complete for you so that's one of the advantages using namespace std and then uh, we have int int main and then you can just uh you can just return zero yeah so simple like that and then we can simply come up here and then you can do a c out and then you can do uh uh hello hello world just like that and then you can just enter there so this simply is going to just output hello world on your screen without any issues so it's actually very simple so you can just save that and then you can just uh you can, you can see that's what does for you the formatting and other stuff so you can just click on run and then it's going to run this in your terminal so you just bring this up this terminal so don't worry, worry about this it's just something that i was running previously to making this tutorial to make sure that everything uh, go smoothly you can see we get via hello world okay so that's how uh, we can work with that so if i just change this as well if i change this to something else uh this is uh this is maybe this is what youtube or something and then if i run this again uh, run this is simply just going to say uh, hello world uh, this is youtube right here so that's how you can run your c plus plus code very easy without having to go into a terminal typing g plus plus and all that fancy stuff okay so now let's try to do for java or python so let's do for one for python so just do test dot uh, dot pi so you just uh, print uh, uh, hello hello world 
okay uh, sorry hello world and if you just run this to run it the same you can just click on this and then run the code uh, i could just gonna bring this up here it's just going to print hello world uh, in python on our terminal so let me just make sure i run python again uh it's running so it's just going to print a uh, hello world it's just going to take some time but if sometimes it is this uh, it's in python it gives an issue so if it's giving you an issue you just simply go with the second one run python file in terminal but uh, also this one is fine and it works uh, fine without any issues okay so it's just your preference you can choose it to run in terminal or you can choose to just run code and then code to run code is just also going to work uh, fine so great and the same thing applies for java c plus plus and all that it provides you with all the autocomplete features so that's how you can simply set up your development environment for python c plus plus java so you can also just create a java here with a dot java extension and then you can just click on this button and it will run that java uh, file uh, java for you make sure that you already have those uh, compilers and interpreters installed or else this will not work okay so that's all i have for you guys in this tutorial so if you enjoyed so far give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel for more informative videos on python machine learning data science web development and programming st stuff in general so thanks for watching uh if you are new to this channel consider subscribing thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one keep safe